welcome to the seventh part of the video and in this video we are going to learn how to add or show text on the surface of the screen as you can see here whenever the car touches the road border a message gets pop up called car crashed so without further ado let's just start coding in pi pi game in pi game we, we have two ways to draw the text on the screen so we have a module called pygame dot font and in that two methods are there one is font dot font and the other is pygame dot font dot sys font so in the first one this the font dot font this will create a new font object from a file okay and in this in the second one dot sys font it will create a font object from the system fonts like the comic sense and the i think comic sense was the one one of the like you know the predefined fonts which we already have in the system so we will talk about only one method which is pygame.font.sysfont okay so in order to play around like you know if you want to play around with the pygame.font module you can refer the official documentation of pygame okay so here we have to create the object let's just say my font equal to pygame.font.sysfont sorry for you okay font where first argument is <coughs> sorry <coughs> font type and the size okay so let's just say font type will be none none means by default whatever the by default the default font is set and size let's just say 100 for now okay so this will create an object for the uh, font now the like the pi game provides no way to directly draw the text on an existing surface okay so for adding this text on this surface we have to use the render method inside the font pi game dot font module okay this render method will create an image of the text or you can say a surface of the text okay by like it, it will be an image a text image then with the use of blit method we can display that uh, text as an image so we have created an object for the font now we have to use suppose render text the object for rendering the text so my font dot render okay this render method will take the first argument the message like the car sorry car okay car crashed okay the second argument will be anti-alias anti-alias means it's a boolean value like if you give, give zero the edge of the text will be blur and if you give one the edge of the um, the edge of the text will be uh, smooth I will show you I will show you both the example so let's just first take as zero so first argument is the message second argument is the anti alias and third will the color of the text let's just say 255 255 and 255 because the third argument and the color will take an RGB format so we have created a text and we have you know created an image of the surface of the text now whenever or wherever we want to show this text we have just need to use blit method in the same way we used to load the image or the uh, uh, show the image on the surface now we have given this condition that whenever the car touches the road border that is here okay so let's remove this line because the okay uh, if x is greater than that and then we have to add this function screen dot Split render what was the variable called render underscore text okay so render underscore text this will be the source and then this will be the destination let's just say 80 comma 200 save it and run the code okay so the, whenever the card touches the border you will get the message car crashed it's looking a little ugly we can change the color and the 
font size also let's just change a little firstly okay, close the window firstly yeah so okay so i have given you anti alias as zero now we'll give one curl will be black that will be better as the background value is gray okay and let's just say position we can change a little not 80 uh, 100 will be perfect yeah let's just see, run it and we can see here okay so now whenever the car touches about yes you can see car crash message appeared that's it that's it and no sorry i missed one thing sorry for that okay so now the car got crashed and the game is stopped but we want to you know we want to restart the game not by again you know restarting by rerunning the code we have to give some time like three or five seconds to you know game get stopped for a while and then again restart the game so in order to do that let's just uh, add the logic here so whenever we get this message after that we can use a module call first of all we have to import that module call import time okay time is a module where which is used for uh, you can say one second so we are using a functionality called sleep of time module which is used to add delay in the execution of a program so we have a time module and the function called time.sleep let's just say for five seconds the game will you know stop and then again the game loop function will start working okay let's just save it and run the code okay so now we'll check on the left side the car got crashed okay sorry what is the error okay i forget forgot to update the screen after the text surface or the text appeared so we have to update the screen log pygame dot display dot update let's save it and now run the code okay so whenever the car touches the road border okay so one two three four five yeah perfect so that's it that's it from this video but few points you have to understand first one the the text or the message you are showing on the screen that should be only a single line okay no null characters because null character will raise a type error and uh, like both unique code and the car care strings are accepted in this uh, pygame.font.sys font module okay so that's it We'll see you in the next video. In the next video, we are talk we will be creating obstacles to the like the car will appear from the top window here. And then we have to dodge every car. Super. So that's it. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep coding, keep learning. Thank you.